I've injured my eye. I have a wire that's stuck in my eye today. I am at the ophthalmologist. And they're talking about surgery to repair this eye because I have gel leaking out of my eyeball. Okay, so this is my public service announcement about safety goggles and the importance of wearing safety goggles when you're in the garage doing anything. Anything that can fly up and hit you in the eye. You want to protect your eye as much as possible. Uh, I was doing a project, clipping some wire. I'll show you what it looks like. Some wire basically like this, okay? pretty tight it's like bailing wire almost I use it to hang up pictures and we were doing some honeydew products around the house I had some I had a picture that I needed to hang up a wire on the back of it's got the two hooks on either side but I like to hook the wire in between it curl off the ends and the wire sits on a, a middle support that's on a on a wood stud in the wall and that way it's in one spot and if you got to adjust it you can it's no big deal it just works out good that way so I put the box here on my freezer, pulled out the length that I needed, and when I cut it, I forgot the fact, because I'm, you know, thinking that I'm invincible and nothing could happen, right? I've done this hundreds of times. I cut it, and when I do, the wire, it springs back and it pokes me in the eye. Now, not only does it poke me in the eye, because first thing you think when something gets poked in your eye is like, ow, and you turn away. I said, ow, and turned away, and then I thought, ow, 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 it's still in there. Like, I, it just, my brain triggered to, it's still in there. And I actually had to reach where it was at, because I could feel vibration in my head. I had to reach around, because I couldn't see where it was at, and pull it out. Now, I looked, I wiped liquid, and I thought, that doesn't look like blood. Let me get a tissue. Came over here and grabbed some paper towels. By my eye, no tissue, no, no blood. I thought, okay, well, that's something. But I know I've hurt myself. So I go inside and tell my wife, hey, I'm hurt. Like, really hurt. We got to do something. And that's where our journey began yesterday. Um, I ended up having to go into surgery last night for them to stitch the globe closed because it was leaking gel out of the eye. Um, we got home last night. I slept with a patch over that eye to protect it so I wouldn't rub it or, uh, whatever. Uh, I then had an appointment this morning with the same doctor so he could do a follow-up. They did an ultrasound where I guess through sound waves they can see more of what's going on on the inside of the eye and behind it. Um, at that point, he consulted with a couple of specialist friends. Um, one doctor is at MUSC in Charleston. Uh, there was concern about the cornea. Uh, then there was a change of plans and a redirect to a specialist about damage to the retina. Uh, one of those doctors just happened to be in Florence at a different location. We drove over there. He looked at it. He had a little better equipment when it comes to the... Um, to the ultrasound part of it. Um, he contacted a specialist in Charleston, or no, Columbia, excuse me, Columbia, uh, and we are now headed to Columbia because I have to be in surgery in the morning. Now, in the morning, <clears throat> they're supposed to do a surgery where they don't put me to sleep, per se. Um, it's kind of like when you get a colonoscopy, they just want you sleepy. They want you sedated enough that you're not going to react, but awake enough so they can kind of tell you, move this way, move that way. Anyway, I don't exactly know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm really freaking out about it actually. Um, but here's what's going to happen. They think that the retina has a tear. They got to repair the tear. And there is a cataract forming from the hole that was punctured which is, I looked it up online, it has something to do with proteins in the eye. They got to clean all that out, plus there's also some debris and fluid in the bottom of the eye they got to clean out of there. They then have to inject a gel, 
uh, or an oil into the eye so that the globe doesn't collapse. And once all that heals, I have a follow-up appointment on Friday, um, the next day. Once all that heals, then I guess we talk about what to do for the lens repair. There's damage to the lens as well. Now, I've done a lot of stupid things in my life. And <clears throat> I've gotten lucky a lot. A lot. That things haven't been worse. These safety goggles were literally on this table. No more than four feet away from where I was. And I should have been wearing them. So here's my PSA to everybody out there. Wear your safety goggles. Okay? Um, I'm keeping this eye closed because it's dilated right now and extra light bothers it. Uh, but there'll be more information. I'll put up a video, share with you guys what's going on. Thank you, everybody, for the prayers and comments and everything else. And uh, just let this be a teaching tool to anybody else out there. Your eyes are important. Please wear safety goggles. Okay? Talk to you later. All right, so the latest, I had a doctor's appointment today. Um, they took the, the, the bandage off. I can see, not great. It's every, everything's real blurry. I don't have a lens in my eye right now, but um, they held up a lens and I could actually read stuff across the room, so that's a good sign. It's the first time I've been able to see during all this pretty clearly. Um, it's a little weird opening it up and doing stuff with it open right now um so i tend to keep it closed as much as i can um uh, the light affects it weird um the surgery was just yesterday so <clears throat> i'm hopeful um, i'm very i'm very happy that i can see um this has got a heel right now it's got stitches in my eye from the retina surgery um, they repaired the retina they cleaned out the cornea they cleaned out the um cataract um, the retina was, wasn't as bad as they thought, which is good. Um, they did have to remove the lens in the process because it was torn. But, um, apparently a lens replacement is pretty commonplace. So, looking forward to that. I have a follow-up appointment, uh, Monday and again on Thursday. And I guess they're going to just see how, it heal, how it's healing and how it's progressing. I've got a whole bunch of drops that I'm supposed to take and I'm taking those as I go. And um, thank you to everybody for all the prayers. And I've tried to read them when I can. I can only read it with one eye, so it's been a difficult process. Um, but thank you. And uh, I'm getting better. So I appreciate it. I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on. Thanks.